Currently OP5, trying to get to OP6. Let me know if anything Doing your the Digistruct Peak Challenge. Check the shops here before we head out. And see if we're carrying any junk. 33 of 39 slots used. Have a couple of assault rifles here, none that are really all that great, but we'll keep them for now until we find something better. We have one Herald here that's got uh, a scope on it. Another one here that doesn't, but it's got a larger magazine size. I'll keep both of them for now, but I think I like the one with the scope better. A couple of shotguns here, conference call and a butcher, and some SMGs. I brought this lagger along, maybe we'll get some use out of that. Plasma caster here, OP5. Contingent competition. That's only level 80, so we don't need that thing. But we'll keep this Framington's Edge. And see how we go. As far as the rest of our loadout here, we might as well start off with the Sandhawk and the Hornet and the Bee Shield and the Magic Missile. That looks like a decent loadout to begin with. And we'll start. Don't have much experience with OP5. You will help me and I will Did you struck peak here. run, so we're still learning about the enemies here. In this particular level. See if we have anything spawning down this initial bridge. So we got I think in the beginning we do have a chance of uh, rabid stalkers, so we've got to be on the eye out for, That's have an eye open for those. It's just what do we have here? Cannibal rat. And something else down here. Turret maybe, no. SGT loader. We've got other enemies coming. Yeah, we've got, we have a bunch of loaders coming in, exploding loaders, and an SGT loader. Might as well use the Hornet for these guys. We managed to get rid of that SGT loader as well on the way. What do we have here? Surveyor. Oh, that's good. We got, got rid of him early, but we got another Surveyor right on top of us. That's a good situation for the Transformer shield. See if I can slag this super badass surveyor. I don't think he is slagged yet. Getting the shields down is a problem. Maybe I should be using a shock weapon here. I think definitely want to keep slagging this guy. Now he's slagged. Let him 
breaking out here. These walls are definitely getting in the way. Maybe I can get a better shot off out here in the open. Hopefully I don't spawn any new enemies here. Now, where is this guy? He's around somewhere. Oh, I've spawned some more enemies, I think. Some more surveyors. I'm going to take the Sandhog off. Put on a shock weapon just to get rid of these shields. I have a Pimpernel. See how the Pimpernel goes against these guys. Probably need them slagged as well. I guess without the bee shield at this point, the Pimpernel is kind of pointless. But I do have a plasma caster here that might be useful to strip the shields out. That's a different one. This is the one I wanted. Shields are down. Let's try to slag. I'll just deal with this guy without slagging. Oh, I think I might have to slag him. I don't really need to heal right now, so I'm going to swap out this grog nozzle. Put the slagger on because it's just easier. through those guys we'll put the grog nozzle back on for healing but certainly in a situation like that where, where we're just dealing with surveyors I'm happy just to use the uh, where is the grog nozzle now happy just to use the the slagger And we can put the Sandhawk back on. Swap out the Transformer for the B shield. So nice having that Transformer. Makes the surveyors annoying rather than dangerous. You can just take them out at your leisure. Don't have to worry too much. Eventually when the Transformer gets too out of, le out of whack with the level it's not going to be useful anymore, but it's uh, close enough to being on level now where it still gives protection against the surveyors. What do we have here? Oh, we've got some Blaster Nomads. And another one here. Two Blaster Nomads. Oh, three maybe. the volley to finish. Hopefully he's still slagged if he is. Sandhawk does a good job against the blaster nomads, particularly because they slow slow moving like that. They just plod along and they're quite wide as well so you do get quite an opportunity to take them down with the Sandhawk. Less so with the marauders and the rats because they do jump to the side a lot more nomads never do they just plod forward
No turrets on this level so far. I'm glad I brought the slagger there. It's very useful for slagging the surveyors. Grog nozzle has quite a slow fire rate, which makes it a little bit awkward to slag the surveyors. Might as well check these two ammo boxes too. Well, now we've got this music. It probably means that enemies have already spawned in. Got a bunch of exploding loaders here. They're quite tanky at uh, OP5, so I don't really want to take too many chances with them. I'll use a hornet here. Let them jump up. Jump up the top. They're about to jump. I think you just get the exploding loaders on this section, in this corner. Just a bunch of them coming in. Not too threatening if you're ready for them. And you have a decent weapon. Jacob sniper rifle there, just a green one. Go ahead and grab this ammo in the corner. Nothing too scary so far in this level, OP5. Up ahead we're going to get a combination of loaders and surveyors, which is always a problem. Trying to get the surveyors out of the way while you have the loaders shooting at you. Particularly if you have things like the RPG loaders. Okay, I'll just... Uh, I'll let the loaders come to me. Oh, we don't have a loader here. We've got some spider ants. not expecting to get shot there. A grenade. <laughs> Just a white hog launcher. I think my bank account's pretty good at the moment. I don't really need to pick up junk to sell. Put the Hornet back on. I think we do have surveyors in the next part here. Something constructing in here, surveyor. Bunch of stuff spawning in here. Could be loaders coming through. It is loaders and surveyors. Okay, I got one of them down. this rat on this side. Did 
Oh, let's lag this one. Both of their magic missiles want to go for the other one. Almost dead. It is an awkward combination of both the bandits there and the loaders and the surveyors. So you can't, you don't really get a chance to take cover against the loaders there because you've got the uh, the bandits aggressively pushing forward faster than the loaders. Probably should have put the butcher on just so I had an alternate weapon when the bee shields went down. Something spawning above. I can hear a loader talking above here. He's aggroed on me coming slowly. Which makes me think he's going to be a Badass variety. No, just the SGT loader. Doesn't want to come off the cliff. He's about to jump down. He didn't drop anything. Oh, so that's it. So mostly loaders there, a few bandits, mostly loaders and surveyors. Six hundred bullets for the pistol, not too bad. And we've got an opportunity to buy some more ammo here. And there's a few ammo boxes too. I don't remember what the next section has. Maybe one of the spider tanks. Shop has a homing grenade. Get some more pistol ammo. Bit of SMG ammo. The rest are okay. I'm not going to buy rockets. 20 rockets is enough. Okay. We'll start off on the right hand side here. Not exactly sure what we'll be facing. We'll try the right hand side. So Scorch is coming straight off the bat. We'll put the Herald on with the scope. Not sure if I need the Hornet. We have the Shred of Fire. Not sure if that's in any use. Maybe I'll try that, but I doubt it's going to be. I wonder if the wonder if a sniper would be useful here. I'll try the Herald though. Your eyes deceive you. Starting over by the rocks is probably the better idea. Only one scorch this time. Usually he comes in a pair. Not this time. these magic missiles hit. Is 
this any good? This minigun here? Mm, not particularly. Doesn't seem much better than the Herald. Might as well just use the Herald here. get behind him. I think a slag wore off there just as I was about to shoot him in the back. Oh, he's getting some hits on me here. Oh, I still have the slag. Now oh, for some reason my Varuk got on equipped instead of my grog nozzle. Difficult to see whether he slagged or not. Goodbye. Now what do we have here? Spider ant sappers. Little ones. Oh, now we got the other scorch. And skags. No rabid skags at least. Oh, he's right behind me. Might have an opportunity to get the skag now. It's not slagged anymore. It's almost dead. Something else is spawning in here. What is this? Another skag, spitter skag. I'll try to get the little ones first if I can. Easier to go for the little ones first. Okay. Oh, we got more spawning in. Rabbit skag now. And I disappear. A ghost amidst the combat. Preparing to strike. Well, hopefully luckily that rabbit skag was less of a headache than I was expecting. I've got a spit of skag up here as well. Good to get rid of that spitter skag first if I can. Okay. More enemies spawning in. Hopefully not a rabid skag. Scorches, that's what it is. Be good if I could line them up. Oh, he's got these charge attack coming through. Got 
one down, probably those boar shots made a big difference. I don't know if you can actually... These scorches might be too big for you to um, use a singularity on. I don't know, no, don't know whether you can pull them with a singularity. To pull them together like that. Try to get the back side if I can. Got him. Jacob's assault rifle. Grenadier class mod we can't use. Well, well. Torg blue shotgun, OP3. So we had one rabid skag there. Probably the, with the RNG on the spawns, you might get unlucky and get more than one. Luckily we could deal with one. We can swap back to the Sandhawk here. We'll keep the Herald. Maybe we should keep the Shredify just to conserve some pistol ammo and some uh, SMG ammo. See if we can get some use out of that. We've got a surveyor here. We've got another one. Oh, we got him with a magic missile, but he didn't get slagged. Now, Shredify is useful against the uh, lesser surveyors. Certainly better than wasting pistol ammo if I can, because I don't have much pistol ammo after dealing with those scorches. What do we have here? SGT loader. Yeah, can't really stand out in the open with the spinny gun here. Burst fire weapons, probably better. First law disabled. What do we have? Oh, we've got a bunch of stuff spawning in. Marauders and Maniacs, and we've got a Surveyor too. Guess we should deal with these Surveyors. Energised. Energize goes down fast with the B shield on the Herald. Now we've got Marauders. Probably good to snipe them because they do like to take cover, the Marauders. So we've got this loader, OP4. That's doing 1.1 million damage. We've got this guy, the Fremington's Edge, 1.2 million. Maybe I should try that because it's got that nice zoom on it. Give it a shot. I'll probably need another, maybe use the other sniper for uh, slagging. I'm not sure if I need it. This feels weird having this extra zoom. Ouch. Nice though, very nice having that extra zoom, but it certainly feels weird coming from those uh, Lyudas that have a... Okay, we've got spider ants now, so we can switch this up for the Sandhawk. And we'll put the Butcher on for emergencies if, our, if we lose our bee shield. At least we can get some work done with the Butcher early without the bee shield. Oh, we've got the Black Queens coming in. 
Sometimes I get stuck on this corner. I might be able to cheese him a little bit because I get stuck on that corner. Should not have stood right behind my hole around there. I got shot when I was standing right behind it. That wasn't too bad. Jacob's green cannon. That second black queen went down fast. We have something else here. Oh, there it is. That's why the second black queen wasn't around. I think it got stuck on the stuck on that house. It's quite nice if you stand here. You can get the the queens to get stuck on this corner. Rapid a pistol. And the launcher here, which is no good. Hello, brute force. Seems like the sandhawk is getting weak. Yeah, the sandhawk is uh, a level 72. B shield is, uh, oh, B shield's OP5, so we've got an on level B shield there, but certainly the sandhawk is a, is a lower level one. So it's only an OP3 Newcomen, which isn't the best launcher anyway. And hello, yes, hello Brute Force. I did have another Sandhawk, but that was a even lower level one. So I guess you're just relying on the B-Shield mostly with the Sandhawk, so... Probably want to... If your B-Shield is on level, that's probably the best you can hope for. I think there's some ammo over on this corner. So we can put the put the hornet on for the loaders, and maybe I'll I'll keep the sand hook there. We got both boneheads here. Got to watch out for those bonehead grenades. They're quite powerful. They are very powerful. There, you got me with that grenade. I think I ran back into it. Try not to run back down the stairs right into that grenade this time. I've got I've got turrets too. I'll let my B shield recharge, see if I can get this bonehead. Another grenade coming through. A shock grenade that time. Oh, it's up above. <clears throat> Might be too far away for the Hornet. I might swap out the Hornet for a slag weapon, slag sniper. I don't know whether I can hide under the, under the stairs there, maybe not. I'll get shot from the side on that angle. I'm 
Might be easier just to snipe them from here. I wonder if I can just run run up this way. The true world revealed. Oh, we're, we're, known to me. we're getting Time more enemies coming in. So that's going to be awkward now. I've got to deal with these turrets and these new enemies. I thought I might be able to just run forward, get underneath them, and then deal with them. But I don't think I can. So I'll just have to deal with these new enemies that'll spawn in and push me. Now oh, that was not too bad, just exploding... Exploding a loader there. Oh, another bonehead here. I'm not going to get a chance to get this bonehead and the turrets from that angle. He threw a grenade, but it went short. I think there might be another bonehead. Have to be careful he doesn't uh, throw grenades this way. still have those turrets to deal with and they're fully healed up as well I think at least for this turret right in front of me might be best just to put on the, co the corrosive sniper and the slag sniper to deal with it go through a bit of sniper ammo maybe but for this troublesome one here I think it makes the most sense to use the snipers. Oh, we got a rat here. A rat spawned in now. And we'll put the butcher in just in case. I did not get slag there. But I was able to just peek over the stairs where he couldn't shoot at me. I think from here the uh, Hornet probably will do. Use a Hornet from this range. Before the horn, it was just a little bit too long. There's one more turret off to the right here. Spinter group mission. Just asking because four main four rats has a chance to drop a legendary grenade mod called Stormfront Grenade Mod. Hope you get a homing one. Uh, I don't think uh, are the oh yeah I know I know what you mean yeah yeah I've got uh, yeah I've got that mission yep. I did pick up a Stormfront from them uh, earlier, but I think it's a low level one now. Where is it? I might have actually got rid of it because it was so low level, but yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, those uh, those ones there. I don't actually have a Stormfront at the moment, but that might actually be worth maybe farming for a new one. I certainly had one before, but I got rid of it because it was too low level. 
But yeah, it might be worth farming for another another storm front. Let the shields recharge here. Sniper's better at this point. This Fremington's Edge was actually quite nice. Damage-wise, it's similar. 1.1 million plus 100% critical hit damage. Now you just doing 1.1. Oh, and 145. So it's a bit more, but it's easier to make the shot with this extra zoom. He doesn't want to peek now. Okay, this area is done. That extra zoom is very nice on that sniper. Particularly for the marauders, because they do like to just take cover a lot. Sometimes it can be difficult to target their heads. We got the onion section here. A good source of ammo. In the ground. They are in fact camouflage Hyperion explosives designed to attack the raiders where we are most vulnerable. Our gardening battalion. Gather the onions, but do not pick the carrots. Oh, nice, got some Iridium, Jacob's rifle. Yeah, I've been thinking of what will kill bad guys faster. Don't know what good weapons on zero. Yeah, certainly for the uh, for that assassin arena section, having a good uh, a good Tesla style grenade would be useful, like the Stormfront. So that would be a good option there, and those assassins are all shielded as well so probably for that uh, assassin arena section having a having a, a on level storm front to, would be very useful for their shields too so yeah that's something to think about maybe we can go and farm for a new storm front might be useful because that is very tricky that section dealing with those assassins Get the ammo down this the end part here. And there's a couple little ammo boxes here. Hello Triforce. How are you? With Grog and Stormfront Grenade mod, it's fast healing. I know that 100%. Yeah, that's yeah, it's very useful. Yeah, the Stormfront I had, I did pick up, had a pretty slow fuse time, so it wasn't wasn't quite so useful for for healing in an emergency. But yeah, definitely definitely the Stormfront and the the Grog nozzle, very nice combination. And you can just throw the thing at the ground. Don't even have to aim it that much and still get that healing with the grog nozzle. I have been using the magic missile a lot, but I have been thinking about switching back to something like a Tesla grenade or a storm front, particularly for that assassin arena section. Oh, and there's a spider tank in the bandit arena as well. Right. Spider tank. That's good to know. Because I'm not really familiar with all this, all the enemies in this OP5 section. I use that combo on my Gunzerker. Yeah, it's a very effective 
combo for for dealing damage and healing up for sure. Let's have a little look here. Let's uh, swap out this Framington's Edge. Maybe put the Butcher on for emergencies. Keep the Sandhawk and the Bee, but I might need to switch these out. See how we go here. How are we doing for pistol ammo? Oh, we're doing fine. I create life and you bring death. We should share an apartment and upload our hijinks to the Echo Net. What do we have coming in? Cannibal Rat. Maniac. Grenade at me there. Oh, your butcher's probably better. I disappear. I think the B shield's probably a bad bad idea. Getting swarmed here. Might be too late to fix. We'll go for the hyper adaptive shield, see if we can recover. Yes, I vanish. I'll reposition on this side. See what I can do. Let's swap out. Sandhawk's going to be no good without the B-Shield, so we can swap that out for something else. Harold. We still have one more rat here. Not as scary when there's just one of them. coming through as well. Grenades. Where is he? Hard to see through this cloud. Still two enemies left. Maybe another more order. There's an awkward little rock there. Oh, he's jumping up top here. Oh, there's two of them. That's what I'm seeing. I was, I was looking. Where is this other marauder? There isn't an, another marauder. There's just two of these mercies. Just 
Hmm. What weapons do we have here? I don't know if the Herald's the best option. Don't need that nuke. I got the shotguns or the snipers. I'll try the Herald. Still want to try the Herald. Not doing a great deal. I think the way I deal, dealt with them last time was using the B shield. Kind of risky, but using like the B shield and just the sand hawk. I'll throw the Herald back on too, just in case. Much easier. If nothing else, we have here. something to do beyond standing around Central Burning and Infinity and the green. Let's have a look at this thing. Oh, we got an Infinity. That's what we got. Oh, that's pretty neat. Oh, it's an OP3 Infinity, but I don't know. Maybe it'll be useful for something. A flame one. We can play around with that. Very nice. Haven't got an infinity from the uh, from that guy's drop, Doc's drop. So that's nice. We can play around with that. It's only OP three, but might be useful still. So that seems to work out okay. Just using the Sandhawk and the B, but you certainly do have to clear out the enemies beforehand, so you don't get swarmed with the B. They're nice and wide, so you do get a chance to get those multiple hits on with the bee, with the uh, with the sandhawk. It's got that typical, typical plodding nomad type of body shape and uh, and uh, behaviour. Should your moral compass begin to twitch, rats are generally regarded as creatures. I'm looking up people. what weapons is good on zero. Oh, thanks for that brute force. I've kind of just been using, just experimenting with what I can find. I'll let these enemies come down if they want to come down. I'm getting shot from. Oh, he dropped down. Didn't realise I was going to drop down like that. Let's try this again now that I'm set up here. 
I'll get a badass marauder. That's what's happening. Oh, they're all badass marauders. Where is he? Might be worth just sniping from here, I think. Let's throw the slag sniper and the corrosive sniper. See if we can snipe them. Doesn't want a slag. There it goes. That guy slagged straight away. Goodbye. Grenade coming in somewhere. I want to just try the other sniper, the one with the larger zoom, and see what that's like. Slag this guy up first. Where is he? Here he is. Oh, it's certainly easier to get the critical hits with a bigger zoom. You can barely see their head with the Lyuda's smaller zoom. It's not a bad strategy to deal with those badass marauders though, to pull back here where you get a chance to snipe and then just snipe them from back here. I probably won't need the snipers now, I'm going to switch this back. I'd like to have a play around with this infinity, even though it's only OP3, probably be useful still. Pity it's a burning one, considering that we've got the scorches and stuff that are flame, but we can still get use out of it and might, would be useful against the flesh enemies too. Let's put the Herald on too. This is as probably as far as I've furthest I've got on OP5, so this is all new. Not sure what enemies to expect here. I'm expecting something to spawn on those steps. Nothing so far. So nothing spawned here. Or maybe it was the uh, badass marauders that spawned on the uh, on the bridge here. So that's what I'm thinking of. Let's swap out the B shield for let's see, maybe this adaptive shield because it's got this slower recharge delay. So we don't need the Sandhawk anymore. We'll put the Herald in position one. So we've got the Infinity. Kind of tempted to play around with that actually. Don't know if it'll be any good against the shields, but uh, might be worth playing around with that one. I think it probably is going to be too weak against the Assassins. Probably will be too weak. I think initially that probably the, um, the sniper is a good idea. I'll try the sniper and the infinity to see how that goes. Ghosty. I'll just heal up our extra health capacity here. Okay. 
Okay. I'll take a quick break and I'll be right back.
check the load out here. Got the loader. We'll try out the infinity. Adaptive shield, magic missile. Bind of the ancients with the flame, which makes sense for the flame infinity here. And the hunter class mod. We'll see how that goes. Not sure what to expect. We'll see. Sounds like we got the uh, got the assassins to begin with. I think Deeth is probably the this one here. Wreath is the most annoying, dangerous. So I think he's resisting corrosion. Wreath. Right behind me. The true world revealed. Weakness is now known to me. Time to go to work. Can't get this wreath slagged. Still not slagged. I should go, just go for what, considering I got a shot on him here. Seems much easier than the oh god now I got the spider tank. Okay, let's change this up and deal with the spider tank. Let's put the hornet on there. Swap the Bone of the Ancients for the corro uh, Corrosive one. How hilarious! You just set off my trap card. Your death approaches. Okay. I think Wreath may be resistant to corrosion here. Yes. Oh, there's three now. If I can. I don't think the infinity is strong enough here. He's resisting. I think he's resisting. I 
Roof is certainly resisting the flame. Out of ammo. I was hoping to get uh, Wreath taken care of before I ran out of ammo there. So instead we have the Herald. I think the Infinity is just too weak here. Oh, I've got the shotguns. And the assault rifles. Maybe the Veruk, keep firing the Veruk might actually not be terrible. Your eyes deceive you. An illusion fools you all. I move for the kill. <laughs> Get that one. Hmm. Borderlands 2, best zero sniper build, build sniping. So we got headshot, killer, precision. One shot, one kill, and bore. Velocity, kill confirmed one. That one with the gun five, cunning. So we've got fast hands, ambush, rising shot. Let's have a look what I'm using. So at least for cunning. Fast hands. It's repeating. I'm just seeing it. It's it's just coming through once for me. I'm just seeing that uh, through coming through once. So we've got the fast hands ambush. Ambush. That's an okay. So it's an interesting one. So they're going full with the ambush. Rising shot. The death mark. And they're using unforeseen. Innovate. And there's not doing two fang at all. I guess for, for a sniper build, yeah, you're not going to put two fang in there. Then over here, they've got killing below and grim. Follow through. Bloodshed. Oh, 
and follow through. Which one's follow through? Oh, this one, yeah. So that's a good build for a sniper, yeah. So then on the sniper side, they're using Oh, then with a grenade. Press zero gear for gren oh, for grenades. O negative, transfusion shields, antagonist. Blockade relics. Bone of the ancients, heart of the ancients. Blood, depending on the weapon. So for weapons, we've got the Snyder, Droog, Muckamuck, Invader, Hot Mama. Morning Star. Shiro Mi, Migo, Pimpernel, Laida. So they're all the sniper ones. They came from online, not me. Right, thanks for that brute force. So that's a, that's a, that's for a sniper load out there. So got a bunch of sniper weapons there and the load out, yep. Yeah, that's worth looking into. Because at the moment my, my build is like a, like a general purpose build. So for, the, for for both sniping and otherwise, although I'm not doing any melee stuff, so so mostly just uh, medium range shooting and some sniping is my build at the moment, with not really any any melee really. I might just restart so I can reset the ammo boxes here. Wish I was good with zero, but I'm not. Yeah, certainly, uh, this is my first character that I've pushed up to the OP levels. So it's cer certainly this is the furthest I've gotten through the game is with this zero character. So I'm not really sure what, be, would, what it would be like to play through up to this level with the other characters yet. Get some ammo if we need it. Snipe ammo. For the Don't have too much fun. Still looking for what would be a good loadout to deal with those assassins. I can play around with this uh, infinity here. We'll put the flame bone of the ancients on. A lot easier than zero, I know that. Right. Yeah, would be interesting. At some point I'm going to try out the other characters, so it would be interesting to see just how they compare. I've played an Axton through the normal mode, but I haven't played the haven't played Axton any further than that than just the normal mode. Let's start off with the Sandhawk and the Infinity, just to play around with the Infinity a little bit. This launcher as well. Magazine size six, fire rate one, so it's quite slower. Doesn't do that much more damage either. Nine six compared to seven one. I'll have a look at that later. Singularity grenade for bandits. You might get a lucky ball. That's true. What do I have as far as singularity grenades go? I 
I will also have the fastball. I wonder if it's worth just spamming the fastball against uh, against one of them. Hello, Meat Hat. How are you? I could also try a fastball too. So I do have this fastball. That's good to hear. You're doing fine. So this is the best singularity grenade I've got at the moment. Moment Homing singularity, 0.5 fuse time, slag. Picked Gunzerker next time. I'll pick Gunzerker next time or Maya. Yeah, I've had a lot of recommendations for Maya, so that might be interesting. Gunzerker or Maya. Although I'm pretty sure this is the most pretty game of all time. It does have a nice uh, art style. It does have a nice art style with the with the outlines on it. And it's a sort of art style that ages well as well. Pretty. Yeah. Pretty or petty? Petty. Oh, okay. Petty in what way? What do we have here? Maniac. Let me put the Sandhawk on here. Although I do love how it looks. Right. In what way do you think it's uh, petty? Let's sort by type. Put on the Sandhawk. Sandhawk is good against these Maniacs. Now we have to look out for some of the um, stalkers. I, I don't think we get stalkers. Uh, not stalkers, I mean um, skags early. Well, I love this game, Meat Hat. Yeah, you know, I'm enjoying this game a lot too. I was farming for literally any legendary, literally anything. I got two pearls before a single legendary. Like, really. Can be funny the RNG that you get. to shoot that badass surveyor. Might be worth switching out this shield before I get shot by this badass surveyor. I'm going to try the Shredder Fire. That might be useful. I've got the Infinity as well. Might be interesting just to try those weapons out. See if we can slag it, slag this badass surveyor. Of 
quite a bit slower than I was expecting. Hard to get a shot off from here. I'll see if I can get out in the open a little bit. Now the survey is lagged. I've got the. We also have the minigun here. Try to slag the surveyor. Pretty slow. Try the Hornet. I think it is easier to slag with the slagger here. Don't really have to worry too much about healing right now. does make it easier using the slagger to slag than the, the grog nozzle. Oh, we've got another one. Energized Surveyor. Hard to make out the opponents from that dark background. I think the horn is probably the best idea. At least the shields are gone. So is the slag though. There we go. I could have put on a shock weapon as well to, for the shields, but I thought I'd leave it off for now. We can go back to the bee shield now and the sandhawk. Keep the infinity on, I still want to play around with that a little bit. See if I can get some use out of it. It is two levels down, OP3, and we're OP5, so it may not be that useful, but I'd like to have a shot with it. I think we have Blaster Nomads next. There's one about to come around the corner on the far side here. Well, there's two. Looked like one because they're right on top of each other. The 
There's still two left, we're getting the boar shots. Hundred pistol ammo. I think their max ammo is like nine hundred for pistol. Not a concern for the infinity, but we will need the ammo for other other pistols. Now we have a bunch of these exploding loaders. Out of curiosity, I'm just going to put the uh, put the sheriff's badge on. I want to see how that goes. Hang on a second. Let's put the sandhawk back on. And we'll put the grog nozzle back on. I was only using the slagger for the surveyors. We don't really need it. It is a flame weapon, but it's still just too too slow. Or well, DPS is too slow. Come on, blue class mod we can't use. Own flame move. Another exploding loader on this side. And one more over here. Get the ammo out of the corner here. Well, we got uh, we got up to the uh, assassin, the assassins in the uh, assassin arena section, but we didn't get past those. So that's as far, that's the furthest I've got for OP five is up to the uh, assassin arena stage. We didn't get past that. I do get an infinity from the from a mercy drop, a flame one. Got this flame infinity. Hasn't been all that useful though. It's only OP3. Yeah, that might be a good idea. Try to get that shield. Butcher here as a secondary weapon to the Sandhawk. It's quite useful. I 
Yeah, for that grenade mod, yeah, the storm, storm front, is it? It might be useful to have. Yeah. I do have a Tesla grenade, but it's certainly not as, not as powerful as that storm front. Got some badass loaders here and some stuff spawning behind me. So let's put let's put the hornet on for these surveyors. Let's change out the relic for the corrosive bone of the ancients. Let's see if we can take him out. Now where are these surveyors? There's one. Get some loaders coming through. Second loader went down with those boar shots. Went down quickly. That makes a big difference, those boar shots. Tear your flame shotgun. You slag them and throw storm front. Should die faster. I think that's worth trying out. I've been using the magic missile for slagging for a, for a long time, but it might be worth just slagging with something else, the grog nozzle, and then just putting a Putting on a damaging uh, grenade there, yeah. I think that might be might be the better option. Do it that way. Got that surveyor out of the way. That's good. Try this run, see how it goes, and then maybe afterwards we'll see if we can get a storm front. Get some ammo here. chances to slag them with grog. Let me see the grog, okay. Slag chance 46%. And what do the grenades do, does it say? Doesn't say. They're not always effective though, the magic missiles. 46% that's high, yeah. I mean, that's almost like, I think my slag is probably something similar. Oh, that's 24, but it shoots a lot faster. Yeah, 46% seems pretty, pretty, pretty good. Get a bit more pistol ammo here. But yeah, it's probably worth it. Probably worth just switching up my playstyle a little bit and uh, don't use the magic missile so much for slagging and use something like a storm front because that'll, that'll destroy their shields as well which will be very nice and I can use it for healing too. So let's put on the Herald. What else? Would be good here. Which is superior. 
50% one is more rare. Yep. So this is not too bad. 46 is not too bad though. Not sure what what if that's above normal. Might be above normal, above average. I'll throw throw the the uh, butcher in there too. Maybe the Varuk. I'd like to try try that out. See if I get some use out of it. I was going to be safe there. The enemies are spawning all on this side. Let's see if I can get rid of some of the other ones first. Okay, one down. Another spider out here. Little one. instead of the grog nozzle here. And it's all messed up. And this Varuk wasn't very useful. I'll try the stick rifle just to get some use out of some assault rifle ammo. Still wrong. There we go. Few ball shots there. Something else is spawning in. Skag. Stealth. 
Now we got the double scorches. I might just try using the uh, singularity. See whether you can actually get it to to pull the scorches here. I don't know whether I just got lucky there, or whether they did get pulled together. They might be too big to actually get pulled with the singularity. No grenades left, so I might as well swap it back to the magic missile. Regenerate some grenades. The true world revealed. Weakness is now known to me. Time to go to work. Got some nice drunk shots there. That helped a lot. Huh. Tried to get behind, couldn't quite get behind. Sprinting turtle shield, just a green one. That got through most of our pistol ammo there. We can swap things around now. Let's throw on the sand hawk. Yeah, maybe we'll keep the thick rifle there for now. And we'll keep the magic missile. We may need to use the snipers at this point. Yeah, thank you, Brute Force. I was getting low on that ammo. I think it's 46%. Try to use your power and move behind him to shoot in the butt. Yeah. Yeah, it can, it can be tricky to do that because he's got that uh, flame area attack. It can be di difficult, but certainly... Certainly worth it if you can get behind there. I'll use some other... Try to conserve what's left of the pistol ammo. What do we have here? I've got a surveyor here, so we'll put the Hornet on. Looks like there's still one more surveyor flying around there. I can see on the mini-map. Is he going to aggro onto me? Yes, now he will. I can't see him behind this wall though. I've got a bunch of rats. Out. 
Warp out the Hornet for the Butcher here. That's a better option. The true world revealed. Weakness is now known to me. Time to go to work. No. Tesla. I feel useless right now because I know nothing about Zero. That's okay, Brute Force. You've been, you've had a lot of good suggestions. I probably will take a shot at uh, farming for a, another Stormfront. That'll be useful. What do we have back here? Probably a Marauder. I'll switch switch out this Sandhawk for a Sniper to get deal with this Marauder. I was resisting. So that marauder was resisting the corrosion there. Let's try this Fremington's Edge. Harold is in the wrong position here. Put the grog nozzle on. Oh, we got surveyors. I was wondering what was spawning in there. Put the hornet on there. Try to get a shot off on this hornet. He just hovered right for me. Got a high Hyperion sniper rifles, but it's better than nothing. They do have quite a lot of sway to them when you're ADS, which is pretty annoying to use them. But that, I just like that one in particular because it's got that big zoom on it. Oh, we got a loader back here. Stuck behind this container. Multiplying your enemies, I've multiplied your chances of death, as well as the number of times I can say multiply in a single sentence. I think we have the Black Queens now. We'll put the Flame Bone of the Ancients back on. Myself with my own grenade there. Out. I 
I'll switch out this hornet for the, the butcher just in case I need it. Fire rate slow, I mean. I really love the bee shield sound and boar combo. Yeah, very sa very satisfying to get that com that combo sound. And I disappear, a ghost of the combat, preparing to strike. Yeah, I didn't realize that was a characteristic of the Hyperion Sniper, so they all kind of have a slow fire rate. I guess the Vladov ones have a high fire rate, maybe the Hyperion ones have a slow fire rate. Bit of ammo on the ground there. There's a couple ammo boxes in the corner. Pick those up and then we'll get the ammo boxes from around the, the onion patch. I'm not sure if the singularity grenade can actually pull the, the uh, scorches. I think they might be too big. <clears throat> but for the assassins they probably can pull the assassins because they're just like normal human sized yeah. enemies now we've got the boneheads here we'll put the um, put the hornet on for the boneheads and maybe we'll put the slag sniper on too Slag him up quickly. I kind of see why other people pick zero. Bad guys can't see you whenever you use the power. Yeah, it can be can be useful if you just want to get through a particular area. You can just use the power and just sprint through the area. I saw him do the th throw grenade animation, but I didn't see the, the grenade fly out. There it is. Flame grenade. Oh, we got turret fire coming through. This particular turret right in front of me is a awkward angle. So I think I'm going to use the um, sniper for this one. the magic missile can home in oh yeah so that's turrets in range of the magic missile I think the Hornet's probably more efficient on ammo even if I am low on pistol ammo just seems to do a better job I'll let the magic missile slag this guy. Mm. 
more boneheads. On the previous levels you don't have boneheads spawning in on the right hand side like that. Grenades coming through. Oh, I got hit by that grenade. Put the butcher on here. The true world revealed. Weakness is now known to me. Time to go to work. the uh, Horner back on here. Ghosty. Got two boneheads here. He's coming around on the right hand side here. Might not be slagged. One more burst. Slagged bone shredder. Haven't really found a good use for these bone shredder SMGs. Now we've got a flame on here. Two bone shredders at once. By the way, online says Lauda sniper rifles is super good on zero. So maybe farm some whenever you're done with farming for a storm front. Let's have a look what what level my Lauda is, by the way. It is OP4, so I guess it is one level down. I could could get an OP5 Lauda, that's true. I think these bone shredders, I'm just going to get rid of them. They're not very good. And what about my Harold? Oh, my Harold's are OP5, so that's okay. So my load is a bit, is OP4. What about my Hornet? Hornet's OP4, so I could get another one of those too if I wanted to. Another bone shredder, non-elemental one. So I've got three bone shredders dropping that time. What do we have here? Surveyor. And marauders. So we've got a surveyor and some marauders here. I'll just back up and see whether the surveyor, whether the surveyor will follow me down. SGT loader. Shields recharge. Where is it? Here he is. Let him recharge again. There we go. Oh, that's 100% BS. I didn't know Bonehead has hurt you whenever he lands by you. Yeah, I didn't I didn't realize he can just jump at you like that and do that uh, jumping attack. So I wasn't aware of that one either. So he's, he throws powerful grenades 
And he can do that jumping attack as well by the look of it. Oh, he got me with that grenade. That Marauder grenade is much less powerful than the, the Bonehead grenade. Bonehead grenade almost, almost one-shots me, but not this one. I've been playing Borderlands 2 for 10 years. I know that either. Could, yeah. It could also be that I, I think I was on a higher... I was on a higher level than him, so he might have been just trying to jump up to a higher level. And that's just something that happens when he jumps up as well. Because I, I was like on a higher level up some steps. So maybe Bonehead rarely does that sort of a jumping attack unless you're higher up on a different level. Seems like he just mostly throws those grenades. If he wants to attack you. I don't know if he I don't even know if he even shoots. I think he just throws those grenades. What is this bit of ammo? We have a little ammo box here. Against the turrets, the the Hornets seems to be more effective than the, the corrosive Lyuda here. -called onions in the ground. They are in fact camouflage Hyperion. But this Lyuda is OP4 instead of the Hornet, which is OP5, so that might make a bit of a difference too. Gather the onions, but do not pick the carrots. I'll grab this ammo around this onion patch. We were running a bit low on pistol ammo. We blew through most of our pistol ammo on the scorches using the Herald there. But with all of these ammo boxes, I think we're probably be pretty close to full. Let's have a look. 600 of 900, so about two thirds. I don't know where to go to find a max sniper rifle ammo relic. Help you out a lot. I do have. I do have something like that. Let's see. Uh, pistol damage, shock, sniper rifle damage, oh, max health, oh here we go, sniper rifle ammo, max ammo, 75%, so this is the best of, best relic I have as far as boosting a sniper rifle ammo, that's max ammo plus 75%. So I got one of these guys. Bandit SMG. Looks like a slag sniper here, Meliway and slag sniper. This next part is quite hectic. 
I mean, if I can if I can take the enemies out early, I can leave the bee shield on. But I just be have to be careful. I don't get end up getting swarmed. I'll put the sandhawk on. Maybe the herald here. Leave the bee in the flame, bone the ancients. But I might have to switch out the bee shield if I start to get swarmed here. What do we have? Put a marauder back here. Probably better just to use a sniper here. Another maniac. I'll put the butcher on here. Ghosting. You got an extra fatal bleeding. Here, grenade. This range of sand talk might be better. How hilarious. You just set off my trap card. Your death approaches. One more, probably another marauder. No, cannibal. Rat. Mercy's here. A grenade. Try to take these guys out. Now I got the Doc Mercy's on their own. Trying to do that at close range. How hilarious. You Some cover behind here this is a better on. idea. Your death approaches. And I disappear. A ghost amidst the combat. Preparing to strike. Heal up a bit. Grenade. How hilarious. You just set off my trap card. Your death approaches.
night. Got those two guys, the dog mercies. I was worried they might not go down with the launcher, but they, that one dog mercy went down with the launcher okay. It'd be super long time since I've been on lower OP level, so I'm lost. Most of my characters are OP 10. Oh, so you have plenty of experience going through the OP levels. Really hate the fast healing on bad guys. Yeah, especially, I guess the fast healing gets worse on the higher OP levels. enemy spawning on these steps this time sometimes there isn't but now yeah, we do oh that's right we've got the marauders here I think the best way to do it was to just snipe the marauders from back here I think that's a better way to go for these badass marauders Probably just do it. I think that's the best idea, just to snipe them. You might be able to do it with the sand hawk, but I think this is probably going to be easier. I think he's slagged anymore. He might still be up on the... Oh, there he is. I thought he might have been up on the bridge, but he's not on the bridge. Sucker. I thought that train noise was another enemy shooting at me. That clack. You got a friend has a gun zerker join your game. Pretty powerful for a Hyperion sniper rifle. No, I don't. No, I don't have that. Okay, so gun zerker is good with a Hyperion snipers. I think we're pretty safe here. No more enemies spawn at this point.
Looks like the pistol ammo is uh, maxed out, so that's good. Oh, that was a different message. Okay, let's switch up the load out here. Let's throw this adaptive shield on. And the Herald. I don't think this infinity was very useful. Might actually just get rid of it. I don't think it's all that useful, particularly at OP3. Maybe the butcher might be useful. Oh, the sniper, I think, is probably the, the way to go, at least initially. Let's put the sniper on and the herald. Try that. Yeah, okay, so the infinity, infinity sucks on the OP levels, right. Yeah, seem to be pretty, pretty weak. See, the infinity did seem to be pretty weak there. I'm curious, maybe the fastball would be useful. Get rid of some of these uh, rat, rat assassins early with the fastball. I can give that a shot. See how this goes. What do we have here? Just a green Torg launcher. And I disappear, a ghost amidst the combat, preparing to strike. So I'll use the grog nozzle to slag up uh, one of the troublesome rats. Then I'll just uh, see if I can use a fastball here oh missed with your eyes deceive you an illusion fools you all I move for the kill I think the other assassin's probably weaker, but he's too far away. Yeah, I'm not used to using the fastball. Out of ammo for the launcher. A fantastic day for capitalism. I'll get a few rockets here. Don't want to spend too much money on rockets. Might be worth starting to collect some stuff to sell off. We can get rid of that infinity at least. Oh, that already puts us up to 91. So it's pretty easy to make back your money once you get up to OP5. It doesn't take no much at all. Much the rest of the ammo, let's have a look. The rest of the ammo is okay. I'm sure we'll be doing this again soon enough. <sighs> let's switch it up, put the sandhawk back on. And let's start off with just the butcher. And the bee. And the magic missile there. 
that pissed me off to be honest with you die over and over the same area wish I could help thanks brute force that is that is a tricky area that um, assassin area if you could stand still for a moment please assemble here and we can begin. basically I just have to figure out a way to deal with those uh, that particular rat assassin at the beginning farm yeah that's right yeah maybe before we go any further we probably should farm for some other stuff that might be helpful so we can get that grenade mod top is okay b shield is okay just remember if you don't want to spend money on rocket ammo if you come across a, a launcher drop Oh yeah, I forgot about that. That's true, I've been leaving launchers behind. That's true, I forgot you can get ammo from weapons. Thanks Triforce. This Farouk's pretty useless, I'm going to get rid of that. Herald is OP5. This launcher, don't need that. Don't really have any decent SMGs apart from maybe the plasma caster there. Lyuda's OP4. I could get another one of those. Yeah, no, Lyuda. Yeah, could get a updated Lyuda. That might actually help with that um, assassin battle as well, having a OP5 Lyuda. Yeah, let's do it that way. Let's go and see if we can get a new Lyuda, OP5 Lyuda. Then we can see if we can grab that uh, Stormfront grenade mod as well. Welcome to Dr. Zed's portable clinic. What can I get for you? Catch Nothing you interesting later. in the health shop. Welcome, Ammo shops got a lobbed singularity. Gun shops got a bandit SMG. Double Savage Lee this time. Let me just check. I can't check in the car here. I think my fastball's on level anyway. Go ahead and put the slag load on. And maybe the sand hawk here. Check the shops here. Lead and shield. Throne jumping biddy. Skin we already have. Okay, we got the other. We have the other Lee here. Oh, there he is. No, that's... There he is, yeah. Over here. 
I enjoyed that. No, oh, someone right behind me. Shotgun there. I think we shot Lee around here somewhere. Doesn't look like he dropped anything. I have four characters Salvador, Maya. Next engage. I just have the two. I have this zero, and then I have an Axton which is about level 35 or 37, I think. Good with Axton either. Oh, yeah, I thought Axton would be an interesting character when I first started the game. Thought it sounded neat to have a have a turret. I didn't know that Axton had to, had the skills to boost up not only grenade damage but that also works for explosive damage on guns as well, like on explosive bullets. So I was just uh, putting my skills into making my turret stronger, but maybe that's not the best best way for Axton, because he's got that other abilities, like he's boosting up his explosive damage. It's a pretty good right combo. Yeah, very useful. Particularly good for like uh, taking aggro from the enemies. Very useful for that. You can let the uh, the enemies hammer on the turrets for a while, and you can shoot them or, or escape. So very useful in that way as well. Just to have the turrets take the aggro for for a little while. skill tree on bottom perk turret can shoot slag bullets yeah that would be useful yeah on the left skill tree I'm not sure if I ever went and took that one when I was playing Axton because I only just I only got up to about level 37 so I wasn't really using slag that much at that stage if I was doing another accident, I probably would definitely get the, the slag turrets. That would be very useful. I 
I'm going to take a short break and I'll be right back.
I think we're actually okay. Okay for Harold. We can probably just go straight for straight for the Lyuda. Check the shops here first, see if we get anything interesting in the shops. Hope you've had your shots. Nimble turtle shield. Do we have a fit turtle shield here? Which seems to be better. Set out. Let's just get this out of the way. Yes. Mumbo corrosive cloud there. From the hands of dead adventurers. It's just a green one though, so I can leave that there. <coughs> We want a car. Spawn a car and head off. Ha. Hey y'all, welcome to the new and improved catch a ride. Now with 47% more than 26% density. Sorry Ellie, just ran straight over Ellie there. up a bit. Check these shops here. Let's just get this out of the way. Yes. Longbow Most slag transfusion. From the hands of dead Adaptive adventures. shield. Did you get a new storm front? I wasn't there when you come back. No, we I went uh, I realized that I already had a OP5 Herald, so we switched it up and we're gonna get a We'll get the Lyuda first. Then once we get the Lyuda, then we'll try for the Stormfront after that. So we haven't got the Stormfront yet. by the vehicles today. What do we got for a load out here? We can take out the sand hawk, put the snipers on. I like loaders but they eat up ammo, yeah. In that uh, assassin arena fight there, I did run out of sniper ammo. They do, they can go through a lot of ammo. Especially for something like a sniper where you don't have much ammo. I'll throw a magic missile and use the corrosive sniper here. I can get get all slagged here. Magic missiles want to go for the other one. Slag. <laughs> 
Try to put on sniper rifle max ammo relic whenever you come back there. Oh, uh, okay, so... Where is it? This one. Sniper rifle max ammo. Oh, there is one here. What do we have here? Nice. Slag Lyuda, OP5. So that'll replace our OP2 Slag Lyuda. Doing a ton more damage. Everything else is pretty similar. So we can equip that one, equip the new one. That's a good start. We got one right right away. And it's an OP5 one as well, so that's nice. Yeah, nice. It's a very good start. Dial SMG in the dumpster there. sniper ammo that time. Oh, I'll have a look after I get out of the car. Didn't check the max ammo on it. Where am I? Here we are. Yeah, magazine size 22. And the, uh, the corrosive has 27. Yeah, so the new one has a uh, 22. Not sure what's normal for a Lyuda as far as ammo goes. Maybe I'll swap this Blood of the Ancients now for the Corrosive. Actually, how much damage is this one doing compared to the Right. I was doing substantially more, isn't it? One th 1.3 million compared to 1.1. So it might be worth just keeping the slag, maybe. 1.3. I use the corrosive, I mean, with the with the bonus and with the slag bonus as well, might be worth it, always coming for me now, is that great on me? Oh, 
nothing interesting dropped there. I mean, in your ammo menu, put back ammo max relic. You can see what I was talking about. Oh, okay. Sniper rifle max ammo. Twenty. Oh, the max ammo. Two thirty one. And then with the other one, yeah, 132, yeah. It goes from 132 up to 231, so it's quite a lot more. Yeah, it's a big difference. Yeah. Yeah, it is a big difference. So it might be worth actually having that on if I want to use use up my sniper rifle ammo for the Assassin Arena. My new skin there. In the Assassin Arena, I can put on that sniper max ammo, use up the sniper ammo, and then maybe swap it out for a different one. Yeah, it's, that, that'd be the way to do it. Because I am using the sniper ammo first of all against the uh, assassin rats so I could do it that way Welcome to my humble shop. get some more sniper ammo Yeah, 75% more. Yeah, that's right. So I can get some a lot more work done there. Might be might be might able might be able to kill off more than one of the assassin rats. Actually pretty good. Yeah, I'm not sure what these relics normally have. But that one, and, and it's got pistol as well, so I'm getting pistol max ammo and sniper max ammo and the health. So I'm getting the pistol ammo boost as well. couple of blue stockpile relics granting ammo for two weapons <clears throat> plus three extra grenades so that would actually be quite handy too yeah two two weapons and three extra extra grenades yeah that would be useful I'm guessing that Reddick is the Holy Grail for Zero. It might actually be, yeah. Pistol and Sniper. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty decent.
white pistol there. Sticky lobbed transfusion. Wish you dropped a fire one. Is a fire a good one to have? I guess against the the rats it might be. Once you get the shields down, might be might be useful to have a fire one. So that's doing about 1.1 million damage. This one's doing 1 1.3. Yeah, some flash flesh bear guys, yeah. Yeah, that would probably be be good to get past those initial those initial rat assassins. You won't find better merchandise anywhere else. I made sure of that. You're my don't die. I need I wonder if something like that um, legendary minigun would be any good. If you just shoot it at range like that. Without getting harassed. The only problem with that minigun is that you have to ADS for so long, you can't really hip fire. It's too inaccurate to hip fire. Try this shredder fire here. See what it does. Tough to keep it on target though, that's the only problem. Still green one. And not much there. Well, zero has a perk, helps accuracy on weapons. Yeah, he does have the one. That particular one. That precision there, yeah, improves accuracy with all gun types. Don't have any points into that one. Doesn't seem like people like that one very much, that particular accuracy one. It's okay, is it? Yep. Not, I don't think I've ever actually tried, a, tried it out. Huh? 
Just do you, yeah, that's right. Do whatever loadout you think is you like. And whatever build you like. That's the way to do it. Whatever you think is fun. I'll keep the uh, assault rifle there. A grenade. Oops, I didn't spawn the enemies. Here we go. Slag shotgun. Some iridium in the dumpster there. I think it'd do more damage closer range. Yeah, probably would. Get more shots on the target. If I'm not sniping, I probably can get a little closer. direct the car towards that ledge just keep kept hitting rocks and spinning the other direction oops I forgot to spawn the enemies get a bit closer to spawn the enemies oh is that great on me Not too close Try to get Gettle done first. find truck skin has Maya on it wearing a bikini I haven't seen that skin no I don't know where to get that one is that a particular is that a drop from a particular particular enemy damn okay you're trying to get that one yeah I'm not sure about where particular skins drop Maybe it's a skin you need to get a code for. Oh, 
it's a random drop, right? Don't think I've don't think I've seen that one. The Shredder fight is not too bad if you combine it with the B shield. I don't think it's much use without it, but with the B shield it's kind of useful. It's not bad against surveyors either. about nuts about Maya. I've got 13 Maya characters. I haven't tried haven't haven't done done a much of a playing with Maya. Definitely curious to see what that would be like, Maya character. Pistol. Rubberized transfusion. Yeah, Mike can control battlefield by lock a bad guy in a bubble. That would be useful for a lot of the jumpy characters like the rats and the marauders. Being able to make them stay put so you can shoot them would be useful for those annoying ones and surveyors as well being able to make the surveyors stay put that'd be very very nice for surveyors too Gun. Oh, that's okay. I can use the sniper for now. Thanks, brute force. I'll pick some up next time. And I disappear. A ghost amidst the combat. Heal up a bit with the deception there. I'll oh, switch out the spinny gun here. I'll put the Put the corrosive sniper on. Throwing grenade. Finished him off with that headshot there.
started off well, got a corrosive OP5 Lauda straight off the bat. Lobbed move. Therapeutic Adaptive Shield, what's that one like? Slightly larger capacity, but uh, much bigger recharge delay. I think the Hyper Adaptive Shield, oh, that's an IP5 anyway. I'm looking at an IP4. Seven viewers, only two's talking huh. to you, me and Triforce. Huh. Yeah, I got to you. And thank you for all the uh, the advice you're giving. It's very useful. You you know a ton more about the game than I do. You, if you got all of these OP10 characters, I'm still trying to get my first OP10 character. So it's good to good to listen to someone who's got. So much more experience in the game than I do. That very strong grenade, green torg shotgun. Now, where did Gettle go down? I think he went down around here somewhere. By the way, watch out. The other guy can pick up loot like legendary weapons. So kill both of them faster. I didn't realize these guys would pick up loot as well. I thought it was just like the, the rats that uh, picked up loot, but maybe not. Maybe it's the other one as well. I oh, just saw him pick up ammo from the ground, right. Yeah, I haven't noticed that. That's good with the rats when they actually stop to pick things up off the ground because it gives you a chance to shoot them, they don't jump around anymore. It can be a blessing when they start looting stuff off the ground because it means they're not dodging your shots. I 
just got shields in the loot chest there. How hilarious! You just set off my trap card. Your death approaches. Old shock bouncing Betty. <laughs> it's nice to have the the snipers with a slightly la larger zoom on it, but I guess they have to balance the gun somehow. So you got the Lyuda, which has the fast fire rate. But doesn't have doesn't have uh, the zoom like the other ones do, or well, some of the other ones. Get some ammo here. So this is an O. This is an OP five. So it's got a bigger capacity and recharge rate, but the delay is much worse. And the health boost is much worse as well, so I like the one I currently have better. One time years ago, on a farm for Stormfront Grenade mod, I killed three of main rats. They dropped three Stormfronts in a row, but the fourth rat picked two of the Stormfronts. I was pissed off badly. Oh, so he, if he picks up the the um, the grenades, he won't. He doesn't drop them again if you kill him. Oh, I forgot to spawn the enemies.
nothing there. And a green bandit shotgun there. If you kill him fast enough, you can, but if you don't, say bye to the legendary. I didn't realize it was like a, a timed thing. I thought he just held on to them until he killed him and then you can get them, but... So if you don't kill him fast enough, you lose him forever. No, I didn't realize that. That would be annoying to get those legendaries to drop. Then get the other enemy to pick him up again. Hope you've had your shots. Regular Next shield there. Lobbed shock grenade. the sand hawk would be any use here at this long range might just be too the bullets might just be too slow but I can try see if it works dropped three of them before on a run that's why I was mighty mad yeah the drop the chances of that happening must be very low to get three three of the storm fronts dropping at this at the in the one time so three out of four of the rats were giving you giving a storm front there Didn't think he was going to aggro on me from that distance. It was my highlight on life. Yeah, it would very, very, very small chance of that happening. Yeah, that would have been a bummer if you got the one of the rats taking two of them. So he's still around somewhere, or is he gone? There he is. I vanish. It's probably not the best weapons for this. I'm gonna put the Herald on, maybe. Butcher.
nothing there. Not sure where the other one died. Oh, it's, this is a completely new... I guess because so, I died, isn't it? It's not going to be the same. Might as well switch this out for the snipers here. shots I'm not quite sure I think I've heard boar shots off of both of them too it's not just one seems like you can get boar shots off of uh, off of both of them there Backpacks. There'd be something about the backpacks. You get the bull shots off of that. So they disappear and spawn in again. At least one of them does. Put the other corrosive sniper on here. So will the other one spawn in? No, that's it. Yeah, I can't remember either. I usually just go for the uh, the uh, the jetpack guy first because he seems to be the most dangerous. So I usually just kill him first. assault rifle a few times now and try to get some use out of it but doesn't seem all that useful so one of them drops drops that and the other one drops the uh, Lyuda yeah it sucks yeah I've tried to get some use out of it but just never seems to work out It's not the corrosive. Now it's lagged.
<gasps> Mobley's weird. Like you shoot him sometimes, and he'll do that staggered animation there. Not sure why, because he still has quite a bit of health left when he does it. I'm not sure if it's just if you shoot him in a particular spot or what, but uh, I'll pick up the launcher for the ammo. But he'll do that staggered animation. There's quite a few shotguns appearing there. Fun fact, Lyuda drop in Borderlands 3 too. So, okay, so you can get Lyudas in Borderlands 3. I wonder if they changed how it works. Because sometimes the guns reappear, but they change them up a lot. I wonder if they get the Lyuda pretty much the same or whether it's got different characteristics for Borderlands 3. Guess what to do? You want to know about Sandhawks in Borderlands 3? Sure, what are Sandhawks like in Borderlands 3? Are they any good? Shredder fire there. Don't know why the shredder fire is down there. It's a fucking sniper rifle now. That's so weird. Why would they change it into something completely different and give it the same name? Especially something like a Sandhawk, which is a, a favourite with players. They must have known that players were not going to like that because they were favourite for players. behind this rock now. Because gearbox is dumb. Yeah. So strange that they would just completely use the same name for a completely different gun. That seemed like a dumb thing to do. Plus, it has low magazine again. So it's not only a sniper rifle, it's a crappy one.
smell the other oh, guy already got killed. Lob to move, 1.8 second fuse time. Oh no, he's still alive. Thought he was dead because I couldn't see him behind that uh, tombstone there. Can't really get him behind that tombstone. I'll switch out the spinny gun for the sniper. Efficiency relic. All that three light is as powerful into a gearbox. Nerfed them a little bit. So they still got the Laudas, but they nerfed them. Right. So they're not not quite as powerful as how they are in Borderlands 2. but still useful. Welcome to my humble shop. Homing corrosive cloud. Zero fuse time. My pleasure as always. You're my million customer. The two words get your health and shields right and the here. booster shield. sure whether this OP5 slag sniper is doing more or less damage than the OP3 corrosive with the relic to boost the corrosive damage. Once you slag up the opponent it probably would work out to be more damage overall with the slag bonus and the corrosive bonus from the relic. stand here. Doesn't seem that useful to stand there. Can't see so much. Spawn the enemies here. Well, I'm curious to see what the sandhawk is like here. Try that. Hope you pick Amara in Borderlands 3. She is a siren. Eventually I'll get around to Borderlands 3. Not familiar with the characters there. It's interesting to see what sort of uh, what they're like. So it's like the Maya version for Board Borderlands 3. Too far away to bother with the sandhog there. There. 
I got a skin, I got a head I haven't got yet. A lad off sniper. Not a Lyuda. She's a melee shotgun character. There are a lot of different builds for her. Oh, melee, okay. Melee and shotgun. So quite a different quite a different setup than Maya. my build, shotgun build. <laughs> Haven't tried a shotgun build. I've been mostly sticking to the Hyperion shotguns. Haven't really messed around with many more. I've tried to get some use out of the Torg ones, but haven't really found any Torg ones that, are, that I like, so it's been mostly the Hyperion ones. Sniper class mod. Still aggro on me from down here. No, they've gone back to fighting each other. Wonder if I can just sneak past and get back up again. So I guess I was maybe just a little bit too close. Alright, it's aggro to me again. the butcher instead of the shredder fire at this range so I can at least hip fire it reason I got the got the wrong pistol on. Because the shotgun in Borderlands 3 it's called the face puncher. Oh, is that the best shotgun in Borderlands 3? I'm supposed to have my grog nozzle here. Melee damage when you shoot it. I 
That'll give a bit more versatility for melee characters. They can get some ranged attacks and still get their melee bonuses. do much from this range. Try this thick rifle. Zoom on it is not very good. Shredify is quite easy to see. Green assault rifle. I guess I blow your mind. Such second. Yeah, I never came across that before. Melee damage when you shoot it. I don't think there's anything like that in Borderlands 2, is there? There's no guns in Borderlands 2 that do that. Now let's just check the loadout here, make sure I actually have the Grog nozzle equipped. perks in my skill trees and melee damage relic. So you just go all in with the melee. I think that's the mistake I tr made when I tried to make a melee build for zero. Is I didn't go all in with all of the melee boosting stuff. So the melee the melee damage I was doing was not was not all that impressive. So I think, I think if I was doing another melee build for zero, I'd definitely just go all in and just pile everything on, on for melee damage. And some health perks, so melee and health, yeah. I think some of, some of zero's uh, melee tree perks do give you a, little bit of extra health too.
see what we have here. Dial pistol there. Some iridium. And a tenacity relic. So, so far I think all, all we found was this AP5 Lyuda, this slag one. Every time I shoot a bad guy, it heals me plus damage them at the same time. Amara is the beast and good looking too. So it's a, and so it heals as well. So it's kind of like a, a moxie gun that heals as well. Or is that just a, a perk that you have, a skill? That's perks, right. I think I did pick up a, a head skin that I haven't found before. This one, Sandblaster, Commando. And this one too, Bleed Out Runner skin. But I have this one. So I think I might leave it there for now. We did end up getting this guy, this OP5 Slag Lyuda. But next time I might keep trying a little bit more, see if I can get a, get another OP5 Lyuda. And then after that, we'll see if we can get a Stormfront as well. So we'll leave it there for now. Thanks for hanging out. I'll be back next time to keep trying for a Lyuda and get a Stormfront. See you then. Okay, I try to play other characters on Borderlands 3, but hard to figure out. Okay, so you just like that particular one. You like the, uh, the me melee shotgun one. Yeah, there's a ton more content. There's a ton more Borderlands content for me to check out. So once I get bored of Borderlands 2, there's a I can always move on to Borderlands 3. Thanks for hanging out, Brute Force. I'll see you next time. Thank you for streaming. I was working and lurking and got a lot done. I like the vibe here. Have a great day, everyone. Thanks for hanging out. Wink, Mao, Mao. Glad you liked the stream. <laughs>